<laughs> Is she dead? No. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much to amuse me. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, man! I don't think I'm gonna mess with her anymore. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die on Alpha 19 Experimental Build 180. I am an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're gonna make ourselves. A 4x4, and then we're going to go to Capella's and raid the place. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't take any effort. And it does help the channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's get started. So, um, I've done several things off camera. As you can see, I now have a green desert vulture. Um, because now that I have plenty of steel, I decided to make the green one... Um, mostly for the extra mod slot, but it does also do a few more points of damage than our orange one did, too. Um, the, this, it still has the problem, though, with the silencer. I've got the silencer on it blocking the sight. So I, I wanted to put a silencer and an extended mag on it, but then the stupid silencer blocks the sight. So I ended up pulling the extended mag off and just put a reflex sight on it so I can actually aim. Uh, so that kind of sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see, we should now have all of the stuff we need to make the 4 by 4 I've been, did a little bit of mining, been just cranking out steel like crazy. Uh, with both forges, I made two crucibles, as you can see here. Uh, and so, yeah, we've just been pumping out the steel. Um, so we need 375 steel in total for the Jeep chassis. And we're going to need the wheels, we're going to need a mechanical parts, we're going to need electrical parts, electric parts, we're going to need headlights, we're going to need pipes, we're going to need 30 duct tape. Had to make some more glue for those. I uh, don't think we need springs, but we do need leather. We're going to need an engine, we're going to need a battery. I'll just take one of these, I don't care. And I think that's everything that we need. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the chassis. The accessories. What are we missing on the accessories? Uh, oh, we do need springs for those. Okay. Okay, so we'll get those two crafting up, and then when those are done... Then we can make the Jeep proper. So we're going to need the wheels, the battery, and the engine for that, plus the two pieces we're making now. The rest of this can all go back into here. Let's grab... Actually, you know what? I think we have a, a little over 10,000 gasoline. Well, let's grab this, though, because it's going to take quite a bit to fill the Jeep up. So, yeah, we're just going to wait for that. And um, I've got all my my ammo replenished uh, one of the other reason why uh, I wanted to make the green desert eagle is so that I could put the silencer on it and then that way we can at least for the moment retire our uh, our blue nine and that saves us uh, two slots in our inventory that being said this isn't very quiet even with the silencer on it <laughs> it's still pretty loud but you know what can you expect from a weapon that's I mean I don't know if this would well I know it's a 44 I was gonna say um, there, in real life, the Desert Eagle comes in different calibers, but one of the calibers is a 50 cal. Um, so, you know, very large uh, caliber handgun, but they also make them in 44s and 357s too, and probably even maybe other calibers, I'm not sure. Um, anyway, okay, so... Yeah, we're just about out of iron. I'm going to have to go uh, do some more iron mining, but we've got... We have enough steel, you know, to make our Jeep, and then... Uh, enough for the horde now I've got over a hundred pieces down below plus I uh, did a couple of upgrades uh, to the entrance let's go look at that because we have a couple more minutes here and I'll, I'll probably even continue to do even more steel upgrades as you know as we get more made uh, but I, I upgraded these blocks here to steel 
and this first ceiling part because if the horde was going to try and do the same thing they did last time you know this is a block that they targeted and now you know that block is steel plus they all kind of group up around here anyway and so these blocks are going to take collateral damage but eventually i mean if we keep using this base eventually i'll probably have this whole entire tunnel upgraded to steel as well as the ramp but i'm not planning on doing that for 42. um i think it'll it'll work okay as it is for Horde 42. Okay, so that's done. So we're just really waiting, guys, on the 4x4 parts to complete. Then we will uh, assemble the 4x4, and then we're going to take off and go do Cabela's. We found this place several episodes ago. It's up north uh, in this area here. And um, there isn't a direct highway leading to that town we could go out this way and then cut up through here to get there um, this train is very rugged through here the other thing we could do is we could also go maybe cross country through here and just kind of open that up too um, you know since we'll be in the 4x4 but even in the 4x4 I mean some of some of this train when you get into this kind of stuff it is really nasty uh, but I think we you know we should be okay uh, with it famous last words right so how are we doing okay so the chassis is done just waiting on the accessories and then the assembly of the actual ve vehicle itself so guys um i think i'm going to cut the camera here and i'm just gonna wait for all that to finish and i will meet you over at cabela's uh which is in this town here well actually here we can look at see where exactly it is at uh, make that active show it on the map yeah it's right there and then uh, we will we will do that in this episode okay so i'll see you over at cabela's in our shiny new 4x4 actually it won't be shiny it'll be all rusty and beat up but that's appropriate for the apocalypse <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't take much to amuse me. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, man! I don't think I'm going to mess with her anymore. Here we are at Savage Country. Get out of the way, Edgar. I wonder if they have any uh, Jeep accessories in here. <laughs> this, this weapon is so beefy sounding, even with a, uh, you know, even with the silencer on. 
Okay. Savage Country. I have never been in this POI, and I don't even think I've seen anybody else do it either. So this is going to be a brand new experience. Ought to be fun. Um, we could try and do a double loot on it if we could figure out where the loot is. So let's go ahead and see if we can figure that out. Shoot you in the nuts. Is he dead? Yeah. Two crawlers. Come here, skater punk. What? What are you doing, dude? Off with your head. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I missed that magazine extension on this weapon, but... I've got to be able to see, to aim, you know what I'm saying? Got to be able to see. This is cool. We have, um, where I live in Colorado, we have a, a Bass Pro Shop. And it's just this humongous sporting goods store. Um, and I, I think Bass Pro is owned by Cabela's, or maybe it's the other way around. Oh, shit. I'm not sure, but... Anyway, um... It's, it's kind of fun to just go into the store and just, you know, check it out. Don't even necessarily need to buy anything. It's got, um... Back, you know, back to, towards the back of the store, they got this huge aqu aquarium with, like, a bunch of uh, salmon and steelhead and stuff in it. And they've got a restaurant and a bowling alley inside the store. <laughs> so it's a pretty cool place. It's, it's fun to go there, you know, with my wife for Christmas, you know, around Christmas time and just scope it out and stuff. Um, so, so, oh, shit. I heard somebody else coming. Edgar, quit doing your little dancing thing. Die, please. Okay. Oh man, these guys kind of hurt me. Let's pop one of these and one of those. Now we're gonna be thirsty. Okay, so those are fitting rooms. Good gravy! There's zombies all over in this place. We never got this reloaded, did we? Okay, how many Zeekers do we have? A lot. Alright, time for this. We do need to remember this is a tier 4 POI, so <laughs> it's not just a walk in the park. But I want to double loot it, so... Oh! There we go. Okay. That's that's where the Lutskis is. Really? Oh man. Talk about easy to get to loot. Holy crap. The next Cabela's I find, just break down the door and there it is. Of course you gotta fight all the Zekers in the back, but so what? Alright, cool. Um let's let's see what we got. Nah. Okay. Uh, there's a box up here. I'll take that. And I'll take that. Take those two things. Getting, getting crap in those boxes. All right, let's. Uh, what's in here? Oh, this just goes back out. More seekers. 
just those two? All right, let's open this. Uh, this is locked. All right. Nothing that great. Okay. Let's go ahead and head on out and then do this thing for real. Oh, there's bookshelves in here too. Let's just check the bookshelves here. They've they've so severely nerfed the bookshelves. It's like fucking ninety five percent paper now. It's just ridiculous. Very disappointing. I mean, here's the thing. If if they were a little OP, and yeah, maybe they were, nerf them a little bit. But don't, don't like just completely make it almost not even worthwhile to check bookcases. I mean, we're still gonna do it because you just, you know, you'll not, you, you, you're gonna do it because you just never know for sure what you're gonna find. But for Pete's sake, man. I mean, okay, I'll get off my soapbox now. Oh, guys, look at all the storage space we have in here. Isn't it a beautiful thing? Oh, man. We're going to keep damn near everything, at least for starters. And then, you know, if we still have to throw stuff out, we're not keeping these. Just no point keeping that stuff or that or those. But everything else uh, we'll keep. Uh, let's see. We're kind of thirsty from eating that uh, pain pill. So let's take one of these. And we can get a little bit more hydration from these two things, as well as some food. Oh yeah, look at that beautiful space. It's amazing. This, well, we'll leave that hole, but if we find another one, we'll scrap it. Okay, let's do this for realsies. Let's do this for realsies. Uh, I'll take all of that. Is this lootable? Yeah, let's loot this too. Might as well. Because then everything's going to reset. Yeah, yeah, I'll take those too. I think we're about ready to go here. Oh, for Pete's sake. There we go. Potato aim. All right, let's do this. So yeah, I mean, seriously, if it needs to be nerfed, nerf it a little bit, but don't nerf it so damn severely like they do sometimes. That's that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, man. What is this? This is a clear. Okay. You know, we don't probably don't need to search a bazillion clothes either. Coming to pop. Feral big mama. Of course, everybody's feral now. Pretty much with our game stages. That little dip thing they do is actually really... It makes it more difficult to to get headshots because, you know, they're ducking and bobbing. Hey! Okay. Ooh. I'll take that. Yeah, guys, I don't, I don't know if I want to search all these clothes. I mean, they're just... We don't need it. There, there isn't really any clothing... Let's look for a second. I mean, we've got BDU tops and bottoms. We've got a college jacket, and I've already got a puffer coat and a uh, a duster back at home. I've got the, you know, the the super tennis shoe stamina thingamadoodles. We just don't need any clothes. I mean, we could scrap it for cloth, but 
Yeah, I'm, I don't think I'm going to take the time to go through all the clothes. Not on camera anyways. I might do it after we're done. We'll see. Okay, so anyway. Uh, this isn't really a very large POI either. Ooh, they just spawned in. Okay, we had we had Seekers in there last time. We got a Nurse Nancy there. Yeah, there's... I think that's a biker. So let's light these son of a bitches up. Whoops. <laughs> that got somebody's attention. Come on, Nurse Nancy. Oh, the fire rate on this is just lovely. It's beautiful. Oh! Yeah, once we can get <clears throat> into a blue or even better, a purple one of these, you know, where I can put the extended mag, this weapon is going to be a force to be reckoned with, man. I'll tell you what. We'll take that stuff. I mean, it's, it's pretty good now, but I just... If I really want to, you know, spray and pray with it, so to speak, we need a little bit more uh, magazine than we have. Got another crawler down there? Or am I just seeing things? There's a plug in the floor. Thirty gunpowder. None of those registers are lootable. Yeah, I mean, y y let me know in the comments, you guys, if, if there are other th things in these clothing, uh, you know, all these clothing racks other than clothes, because if it's just clothes, it's just not worth our time to go through them. It would be in the earlier game. I mean, this place this place would be awesome to come in, into in the early game if you could survive it, just because, you know, you'd probably get all the clothes you would ever want. But we got lots of cloth back at the base. It's not hard to get, so, yeah, let's just move on. Is there anything interesting down here? Not that I can see. Ooh, oh man, I should have looted this. Stock on it. I should have looted this before we before we started over. Nice military vest. Well, an orange one anyway. Yeah. That was a mistake. But I didn't see it. I didn't know it was here. Okay, so I think that's it for the front of the store, near as I can tell. So let's go ahead and what I'd like to do is close off these extra doors. We only have one Zeker in here, so we'll take him out. Anybody back here? <laughs> Guess not. Yeah, it's too bad I missed that gun rack the first time through, but like I said, I didn't know it was there. We'll, we'll know for next time. Take a look at that stuff, but yeah, it looks like that's all just clothes. There's an ammo pile. We've got so much normal ammo because I'm not using it anymore. You know, we're using armor piercing now. For toilet pistol. Let's um get these guys' attention here. I've got a I wanna try something. Let's uh 
can't block that because of the door, huh? Okay. Where is my... Where are my... Oh, I didn't bring my Molotovs with me. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay, I want to try something here. Okay. Hola! Oh, that's a lot of zombies. <laughs> okay, here we go. I hope that works through the door. <laughs> yes! It worked beautifully. It worked beautifully. We took out a lot of Zeekers. <laughs> I didn't count all the red dots. I just knew there was a lot of red dots that we killed. All but the one. In fact, that other one might not even be... have been in the first group there. That was amazing. Um, let's just learn that for the XP. Oh! Oh, 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 we just finished Sniper. Oh no, we've already we already learned Sniper. Yeah, that's right, I forgot about that. The game does the ta-da thing it, over and over, even after you've already learned it, which is a little irritating, but whatever. Okay. Is there anything up here? Nope. All right, let's go deal with her. Couldn't get to her head. Um, are we supposed to go up to the roof? Yeah, I think we are. Okay, well, let's finish clearing, and then we'll we'll worry about uh, the end loot. Okay, how many do we have? Just two? Yeah. Bam, you're tough, big mama. Feral big mama. Oh, shit. I'm 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 used to having more rounds of the desert desert vulture because we had you know we had the extended magazine in the other one. Okay, let's take this. I'll tell you what though, guys, this is actually a pretty easy level four POI compared to the other level fours. The waterworks is not super hard either. It's just kind of a long crawl, longer crawl. Those are all just close. Nothing there. Oh, we're done. It says return to trader. Nice. Okay. Well, I'm curious. I'm curious about what's up on the roof, though. Uh, other than you know buzzards. It does seem to indicate we're supposed to go up there, but maybe that's only if. We were doing a fetch quest and there was stuff up here. I'm not spotting any buzzards. Is that a zombo? Oh, no, it's just a dead body. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, um, as tier four POIs go, this place is actually f fairly lightweight. It's not necessarily a bad thing either. I mean, if you, if you, you know, ran it over and over again, you could get through it pretty quickly. Okay, let's check the, uh, let's check the loots. We'll just get them all broke first. Some dude outside. Okay. Let's see what we got. I will take that. Eh, nah, I'm not taking paper. Seriously, we got like three or four thousand paper back at the base. Just don't need it. Even though we do have a four by four now with lots of room. Take that. There's food on top of here. Okay, take both of those. We already looked there. Okay, I think all that's left is just the... Just the big boy. Almost. All right. Hey, cut that out. So we're going to have to come back here. Uh, to get the rest of that. All right, guys, let's see what we got here. You're amazing. I hope you like your reward. Oh, very nice. A blue compound crossbow. Okay, that's better than the uh, green one we got the last time around. So, yeah, I think that's what we will take. Yeah, that's nice. All right, what's your next job, Jenny? You know, I a always school. admired a... Hard worker. A fetch and clear at a school. Oh, that's like um, that's like the new the Na you. the Navasgain High School good or luck. no, not the Navasgain High School, but the the new high school. Oh, fun. Okay, so it looks like there there actually is more variety now. Um, yeah, tier four. I just got a little unlucky right at the beginning of our tier four career and had a shitload of waterworks. That's great. That's great. All right, guys. Well, I think what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to let you go here. And um, I might do that. Um, I might We might do, the ne do that in the next episode. Or I might take the, next, the rest of today and um, the daytime of 42 off and just do a bunch of mining. Because I'd like to get a whole bunch of iron going uh, in both of the forges so we can then, you know, get a whole bunch of steel going and I'm pretty much out of iron. So I need to do some mining. So I'll, I'll think about that. And, uh, if we, you know, if I decide to do this in the next episode, then, you know, I'll bring you back before Horde Night. Otherwise I probably will not see you again until we, right before the start of Horde Night 42. Okay. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.